Hi, I'm Andrea Angela and welcome to the Practical C Sharp video series. Uh, in this video, I'd like to talk about the Convert class that's been available since the release of .NET Framework. Uh, let me show you the scenario. Uh, I, I want to implement a method called sameint that takes two objects, and I want to be able to say that these two objects are the same, if the same representation of an integer. So the interesting bit here is that I want to be able to compare uh, objects that can be float, doubles, or strings, for example, as you can see here. Here I'm, converting, I'm comparing two integers, I'm comparing a float with a double, I'm comparing a, an integer with a string, a string with an integer, or two strings. And I want to be able to, this method to return truths in all, in all these cases. So let me run it, and you can see that I got five truths. So let me see how we could implement this method using uh, normal C sharp feature, uh, features. And I'm using C sharp 7 just because it makes life a little, a little bit easier using pattern matching. So what, what I can do is, because I don't know the type of the, the object, I need to do a switch uh, using a type. And then basically, if it's an integer, I set i uh, as an integer. If it's a string, I use try parse. If it's a double, I do math round. If it's a float, I do math round, and so on. I do this for the first argument, and I do this for the second argument as well. And then at the end, I just check if the two integers are the same. So this is quite a lot of code to write. And uh, if you need to support more types, you need to do uh, other case statements here, you know, to support various different types. Okay, you may, you may be able to extract this switch in a method helpers, but it's still quite a bit of work. What I want to show you is that you can use the convert class in order to make this code a lot more compact and easier to, to read. So let's say I want to use the convert class and I can do convert to in 32 and pass first. So this achieved the exact same results. The interesting bit is that this convert class allows you to convert from a base type to another base type and, uh, and also this includes the ability to convert an object to any particular non-FMO types. And there are 19 possible base types you can use, like all numeric types, booleans, uh, strings, and so on. So let's do the same for a second. And I do convert dot to in 32, and I, I pass seconds. And I can also inline this, these two things to do everything in a single line. And if I run this code, I should get the same result. And I get all true. So, this is a lot more easier, and is a very useful class to use when you need to convert an object to a particular base type in the framework. And uh, Microsoft does everything for you inside those helper methods. Uh, let me show you that there are the, all the various uh, overlaps you can use. You can see you can convert to ints, to boolean, to byte, to chars, so all the base, 19 base uh, .NET framework types. So this class is extremely useful if you need to, if you are forced to use objects in your methods, for example, like in WPF, you can you need to implement an i-value converter. Uh, unfortunately, you need to deal with objects. Or I'm sure there are other opportunities in the in, uh, in libraries that um, force you to use objects. So in these cases, uh, the convert class can make your life a lot easier. And so definitely recommend that to use it uh, in those particular situations. So this is it for today. I hope this is useful. And if you are interested to learn more about Fish Sharp and stay up to date with .NET anything related to the C-Sharp development world, please subscribe to the channel, share uh, the videos with uh, your um, friends, and thank you very much.